Today we can talk about the energy of prosperity and wealth and maybe how we can attract it. Maybe what is the situation now, our relationship with abundance in our life, you know, how it functions, how it fluctuates. Um, and maybe we can get some messages about, you know, the improvement of this energy in our life. Because really cards can help and cards can give us direction. So I'm going to take a card from the pack and uh, three cards essentially and then you can choose which card you resonate with the most. So I'm going to ask the cards now to please, please connect with our listeners and find a message for us right now. So I feel that this is gonna be card number one. This card is really asking me to come and Card number three. Okay, let's have a look. So, here are our three cards. You can choose one which resonates you the most today. And this is our card number one. I can see some very good tendencies in this card. For example, it feels like the doorway has just been open. And, you know, it was quite a quite a strong door, you know, can you see all these bars and they've just been lifted. So perhaps you would just let out into the new lens in your life, new horizons, new opportunities and more things will come. Just the fact that there is this fresh air in this card, I think it's a very good uh, sign. The fact that uh, you see the picture starts inside, but there is also an outside. So there is this fluctuating air you know, the flowing air uh, in the card. And I think that this is great for abundance. And I feel that, yes, you're starting maybe a new path in life, maybe a new direction, some sort of a new opportunity. And you're all well equipped. You've got a horse, you know, beautifully dressed horse. Maybe these are your tools. Maybe this is, I don't know, a website that you have uh, where you're going to do some work. Maybe some platform that you have and uh, maybe some people who are helping you in life. And you're all very fully equipped as well. Look at the armor, <laughs> this beautiful knight. He's ready to have new horizons. So I feel that maybe if life hasn't been treating you uh, well enough with um, wealth before, with prosperity, now is a really, really, really good chance that it's going to come. And uh, it feels like somebody's waiting for you back there. So when you achieve everything, you're gonna come back home and there will be some rewards waiting for you so i don't know maybe it's a child or somebody who loves you it's it's on the other side and it's almost like you're being blessed because there are these two statues left and right i don't know what they represent on this picture but energetically i feel that this is wisdom and blessing a little bit like guardians who are watching your way and they're always on the left and on the right of you and you will always be protected and somehow I feel that <clears throat> there is this triangles here. Somehow I feel that wisdom will be dropped at the right moments into your head, into your consciousness, so you can make the right decisions in your life. So you're really, really, really well guarded. And also there are some, there is sunlight also left and right above you. There's some sort of a lion there, a doggy <laughs> even. But mostly these figures around here forming an arch is really good ground and really good protection for you so i feel that the message is uh go for it believe in yourself you know strive connect uh, go and uh, run uh you know like run in terms of running on a horse gallop uh into the open into the new don't be afraid and uh, you're very, very well protected, so you will have opportunities. So whatever you've built until now, maybe your knowledge, maybe you've built some technological advances, as I've said, maybe some platforms, website, maybe social media or something you're working with, this is going to help you with your business. You've got the courage, you've got the confidence, you've got the support. So all you need to is just start and go. And card number two. Wow, <laughs> look at the card, how beautiful it is. How much have you got in your hair? The key, all the beings, the sunlight, the stars. Listen, this is the most abundant card you can ever have. If you chose this card, I feel that you are as abundant 
as ever you could be. This is your golden time. And if it yet hasn't manifested, trust me, it's there and it's coming any minute. This coming amazing, beautiful energy and lots of good things, lots of new opportunities. You're really drawn to right things. You've got it in the right way. You know, you've got already all the potential and it's there. You already have all the abundance. It's really probably just enjoying it, reconnecting with it, knowing that you've already got it. I don't feel that you need to do much, uh, you know, to achieve abundance in your life. I don't feel that you even need to learn more, you know, to wait for it. It's there. Just go and get it and use your key that you have inside of you. Maybe it's like a memory or a consciousness inside of you, which helps you to unlock the abundance in your life. But uh, in this case, you don't even have to doubt. Your abundance is flowing beautifully. Your abundance is amazing. There is something about you which just attracts the best possible things in this life. And the amount of them and the diversity of them is truly astonishing. You've got the sparkles, you've got the butterflies, you've got the fairies, you've got the elves here, the time on your side, everything, everything. And this magical kingdom just above you is, is here as well. It's here supporting you. And interesting that the lady is closing her eyes. So I feel that maybe, uh, maybe if you are struggling, you just need to close your eyes and reconnect with the magical abundance that you are already. And this will be your key to getting it in your uh, real life. You are blessed. You are definitely blessed. There is no doubt that you're going to have amazing abundance if you haven't got it yet. Because you've got something about you and something about your energy which just accumulates and attracts and diversifies. And you're this generator of wealth. You've got an amazing ability. So use it. And I can see uh, a spell book here and a little bottle <laughs> which is quite interesting so maybe that's something you've been using before you know in order to manifest things in your life i feel like this is like a magic potion and maybe magic spell book with incantations but now you've reached it you have it and all i can say i admire your wealth i admire maybe your personal spiritual material wealth whatever you've got is there and it's really beautiful Card number three. Well, I feel that you're on your way. You're definitely on your way and it's not long to go yet. You're still not exactly there. <laughs> There's still a bridge to cross. And you know, maybe you are this rabbit who is waiting to cross this bridge and you've got the beautiful peacock on your way and the, the water. But you're gonna have an amazing, incredible manifestation in your life. You know, the top, the top. And even the birds here are watching you and, you know, being mesmerized by this beauty that you have created. It's definitely waiting for you. You just need to cross this bridge. So there is something you still need to do to reach that abundance. Maybe it's a little stretch of life, a little walk of life that you still need to do. Complete something, have a certain experience maybe, maybe meet somebody who will help you to achieve uh, your utmost dreams. Maybe you just need to wait a little bit. Maybe time needs to pass in order for you to completely gain what you need to gain. It's not a big stretch. I can feel that compared to all your life before that, you've walked much longer. You actually walked to the point where you can see the castle. So you are now at the position that you can see your wealth coming. You know, you already can imagine it. You can portray it in your life. You only just need to do the last touch, you know, the last a stroke so to speak and you're gonna be there so i feel that the message is see abundance please see see your dream imagine your dream hold the vision maintain this vision strongly because if you will start looking somewhere else you know maybe behind or somewhere there you might get distracted and forget about the bridge but you are so close there's so little for you now to to go through and to overcome and the castle is already created by you the universe has already worked so hard to give you your dream it's already been built you only just need to cross and enter so it's very important for you now just not lose sight of your creation of your manifestation just don't forget 
to imagine it, to stroke it, you know, to cuddle it, spend time with it, maybe draw it. Keep investing in your dream, in other words. Don't turn away now that it's so close. It's waiting for you and everybody, everybody is waiting for you to do it. Also, just enjoy the fact that you are so close and it's about to happen because one day you're going to look back and you'll remember with maybe tears in your eyes that you were so close one day, you know, and you were still about to experience it. You haven't yet known what it's going to be like, how amazing it's going to be. And you may feel even, you know, a little bit nostalgic about it that, oh, you know, it was still in front of me. So enjoy. Enjoy the fact that you don't know yet how amazing it's going to be. You have no idea how incredible your abundance is going to be. So. Wow, I absolutely love the cards. That's amazing. I don't think in all the readings that I've done they've ever been so wonderful. <laughs> For the past several weeks, every time the cards were a little bit uh, stormy, you know, and, you know, a bit dark or gloomy. But this time, finally, we've got the most amazing cards. And uh, also the succession of them, how they went one after another, is quite fascinating and interesting. As I didn't expect, I didn't remember what they were like. I didn't expect them to see uh, like that. So the first one was uh, the quest night and uh, it almost feels like maybe compared with other two cards it's more like the beginning of the journey. So the yes the abundance is there and yes you can easily achieve it but it's still you're still about to set on a new adventure. So this is the card maybe for beginners or for people who set for new beginnings maybe you're gonna have a new career now you know new project new interest but uh, rest assured that you've got everything you need to achieve what you need to achieve. You've got your horse, you've got your armor, you've got these figures, the sculptures, the sunlight. And there's also support in the background. It's almost like maybe your roots, maybe where you come from, maybe your family, they're waiting for you. So you are all uh, ready, you're all prepared now to go uh, on this journey. And I have a good feeling about this card as well. I feel that it's going to happen. but. Uh, you need to put some work into it. So whatever project you start now, just know that it's going to be true, it's going to be all good and go for it. Lovely card. Quest Night. Oh my god, this card. <laughs> uh, I felt it when I touched it uh, in the pack that it was amazing energy and it's true. The energy is absolutely amazing and I can look for centuries at this card. How abundant it is! It's like the epitome of abundance, isn't it? It's got everything, everything, even a baby, even a dragon, a boat. So I don't think I could have pulled a better card for abundance <laughs> than this one. It's amazing. So if you got this card, there are no worries. You are abundance. You are the ultimate representation of abundance. If for some reason you haven't seen it yet, it's a matter of flick of your fingers. It's very, very quick. You just have to uh, see it and maybe uh, like this lady does, close your eyes and just reconnect with that abundance that you have inside of you. Feel it in your cells, you know, feel it in every part of your blood and every particle of your body and just vibrate this abundance, you know, emanate this abundance and then it's gonna give you the key to have it in your life. But even even the background here is so beautiful, this, this town, you know, the city the cathedral and the towers, it's its all so positive and so magical and uh, I'm really happy for you, I feel that this is a great card. You've got it, you've got nothing to worry about, that's the message I feel. Spell of forgetting, <laughs> forget about your limitations, I think that's what they're trying to say. And the castle, the third card, this is also so sweet, it's a little bit different, isn't it? It's like a little bit still, you need to cross but it's there. I feel that this is the card for those people who have been working a lot, who've been working hard to achieve their goal and they need to know that it's already happened, it's already uh, alive on some level, so the universe have created it. It's just one last little thing you need to do and you're gonna be there. And uh, I get a message that walk this last step with grace. Put your head up high, you know, walk very straight, have a big smile, let everybody enjoy seeing you coming finally into your success, into your wealth. It's happening now in your life. Uh, don't be afraid of this last step. 
This is your celebration. This is your red carpet, essentially. You are about to step into it. So just hold your head very, very, very straight, very, very high and walk with grace and enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. There's going to be so much in this castle. It's going to definitely come true. Just don't forget, don't look away now. Don't look anywhere else now but your goal. You're almost there. It's almost coming. So I'd love to join you on walking on this bridge. <laughs> I feel that you're going to have a lot of happiness soon for you who chose this card. So thank you for watching. This is amazing. I really, really enjoy it. And I almost felt more abundant just looking at these cards. I feel that they have magical energy. You know, sometimes objects have magical energy and of course art has magical energy as well. And it's amazing when we look at art, which is abundant, like a tree, colors, butterflies, we become this energy, don't we? We then cultivate this energy inside of us so it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and boom, it manifests in our life. So I believe it's a healing ritual when you find something which looks abundant let's say a tree for example outside of your window it looks abundant it has so many leaves on it it has so many particles so much beautiful light so just observe it you know adore it with your eyes admire it look at it as though this is your life this is the abundance that you have in your life this is the reflection of your abundance and the more you're going to do it the more you're going to get used to the fact that yes this is a true I already have abundance in my life. It's surrounding me already. Okay, maybe it's not always coming as, as financial, as money, but I have it as a tree, you know, I have it as food, I have it as roof, I have it as my body. And then the more you're going to think like that, the more this flow I can feel is going to uh, fluctuate, you know, is going to flow, is going to swim. So this energy is going to come to you much, much, much easily. And I feel that as we're talking now, some magic is happening. Really, I can sense it. Like the universe is giving approval <laughs> for many of us. Like this very moment, I can feel it. And lots of good things are coming very soon. Imminent, imminent sensation I'm getting. So yes, just, just, just feel it. Just stay tuned in, just receive it. That's what I'm feeling now. You don't even have to think twice about it and definitely no doubts. I can feel that there's been a switch just now and I'm asking the universe to please send the switch also to, to all of you, especially those who need it the most now and be assured that it's coming. And remember that you are the abundance yourself. You are the energy of abundance and you can only create abundance in your life. So wishing you a lot of well and a lot of wealth as well to come and have a lovely time and uh, let me know how it works let me know your comments and your feelings see you very soon